You know what I hate? TikTok. Putting aside Kesha's successful song from 2009, TikTok, the app, has had its fair share of popularity. But why? What makes this disease of an app so popular, and more importantly, what has this app done wrong in years past? Let's start with the obvious fact that TikTok, like Instagram and... <sighs> Twitter, has changed many societal standards, and while few have been for the better, like having a more open awareness of sexual harassment, most of it has been for the far worse. Having to look a certain way, have a certain breast and or butt size, being in a certain shape, the amount of shit TikTok alone probably influences is completely ridiculous. On top of that, people's personal lives are becoming more public due to the platform. Honestly, I don't give a shit that your pet turtle died and you're in a manic state. That's not something I should or want to know. And this may sound like me being an asshole, but using an app to gain validation from others is a slippery slope that comes with its disadvantages, i.e. hate comments. And if you have mental issues, this could lead to very serious problems arising. Some would argue that TikTok is only a platform and that it's the people who make these standards. And that's where you're wrong, my most likely conservative friend. In March of 2020, The Intercept reported that TikTok quote unquote told moderators to suppress posts by ugly people and and the poor to attract new users. I shit you not, these motherfuckers deliberately censored people that were too quote unquote ugly and poor so that they could grow in popularity. The Intercept even found fucking specifics. Abnormal body shape, ugly facial looks, dwarfism, beer belly, too many wrinkles, eye disorders, and many other low quality traits. That alone should have gotten TikTok canceled, but people don't give a shit. It's like the billionaire paradox. Nobody wants to raise taxes on the rich because they believe one day they'll be rich. Same thing applies here. Nobody wants to push this clear violation of multiple societal standards because they believe that they'll look like the people being promoted on their For You pages someday. But this wasn't the only controversy TikTok has endured over the years. Because of the nature of TikTok and its relative newness, it's no surprise that the biggest issue facing the social media app is grooming and child predators. I will admit, however, that TikTok is doing everything in its power now to fix this issue. I remember a time where you would scroll through TikTok and find some random 17 year old girl twerking in just underwear. And that was a serious problem. It got to a point that you could ask any guy if they checked the TikTok girl's bio to see how old she was before liking their post, and most of them would say yes. I call this the child infestation, where you couldn't escape what was, essentially, the numerous attempts at child pornography on the platform, and TikTok understood this, which is why they're very strict about it now. And that's a good thing, it prevents child predators from getting what they want and allows the rest of us to peacefully scroll through the app. There was also that one time that the United States feared and tried to ban TikTok, but let's be honest, that was the laughing stock of President Trump's administration, even though, I will admit, it did have some merit to it. TikTok was fined a measly $8 million, according to TechnoWiz, for selling children's data. Mind you, the company is worth like over $100 million. I think we could all agree that as addictive as TikTok can be for many, it's a terrible app that has consequences up the yin-yang. If you're a TikTok user, you're not a bad person by any means, but be careful of what you do and see on the platform. I'd rather you be safe than sorry. Anyway, anybody want to see my renegade?